Hey everyone, welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 12D with me, Redneck Einstein. We're playing the modded version, and we're on the ice sheet. We're doing pretty good, I think. Things were really bad. We lost a few of our uh, colonists, but we seem to have hit a nice steady patch where we're able to fight off any enemies uh, that decide to come and attack us. And, you know, we're doing pretty good, so can't really complain. Um, what I want to do now is put down a couple of these stools. So in this episode, we're going to continue to protect our base, hopefully improve it, get our bedrooms, maybe a medical wing up and running, although we do need a combat supplier so we can buy uh, medicine off them. So hopefully, you know, we can get some more joy activities built for these guys because they're, they're pretty much, you know, angry, as they would be. They lost a lot of friends. And, uh, yeah, we need to, we need a lot of hauling done as well. There's so many um, dead raiders around. I'm just leaving all their uh, clothing and paraphernalia on the floor. Now, let's just get to the nitty-gritty here. Let's have a look. What's the matter with Crystal? Very joy-deprived, hungry, tired, feeling bad, ugly environment in a little pain. So, I mean, in terms of the ugly environment, I can help you to clean it up that's about all i can really do crystal so if you could just clean that up and make it look a little bit better louise we've actually got uh focusing on crafting now i think that's important because uh we don't actually have enough blocks right now so oh by the way if you hear a squeaking sound it's my little doggy rocky's toy <laughs> he's got a little pet rabbit type thing it's not real it's just a cuddly toy but it goes squeak 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 and uh if, if you know he loves playing with it so yeah if you hear that that's what it is uh if you want to check out pictures of him by the way go and have a look on twitter and uh i'll upload some pictures to there by the way also i want to give a huge shout out to all of my patreon supporters who are so kind in supporting me financially with the channel um we've got alfred skips Elfwin, who's our latest Patreon supporter, and uh, Dan Peters. Huge shout out to Dan Peters, who's our, my largest contributor by far. Um, he actually has a band, which I'll let you know more about uh, when he lets me know more about it, because he's in a different country to me. I believe the band's called RXPX, and it's kind of punk rock, but apart from that, I don't know too much. He's uh, got an album coming up, maybe you want to check that out. But just wanted to give a huge shout out to him. He is the main man and he's one of my motivations for doing this channel. So thanks. Thanks to all of you. Not just Daniel, but thanks to all of you. Uh, okay, let's get on with business. So we need to we need to kind of run our power cables through walls rather than just having them scattered everywhere. So what I'm thinking is if I build if I build a wall here, then I could build a door here. If I mine that block, then we could run the power cable along there, and that will reach everywhere in our base, theoretically. Uh, what's happened to... Oh, there's our prisoner. <laughs> I was like, what's happened to him? Where's he gone? There he is. All right. So, actually, this bedroom here is surplus to requirements. So, I'm actually going to get rid of it. Um, hmm. Let's uninstall the light too, actually. The heater, I'll leave for now. Uh, let's see. Alright, Crystal, yeah, you tidy the place up, girl. That'll make you a little bit happier. Alright, let's keep an eye on Louise for a second. Totally joy-deprived. Disturbed sleep, Louise. Can you not make these uh, stools so you guys can actually have somewhere to play chess? Is that not something that would interest you? No? Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, enough of the silliness. Let's build another little bit of wall there. Let's get rid of that one. This Dode guy. I'm probably better off just releasing him, but I really want him to be part of my colony. He needs a beauty. He, he needs to feel like the room is more beautiful. Really? Eight off the ground. Hmm... Could make him a little table, but that's only minus four. Feeling terrible is what we need to take care of. Uh, hmm. Okay. What's that crystal? Oh. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, things are going pretty good. Oh, we have a power outage right here. Why do we have a power outage? 
We've run out of power, really. Crystal, can you come and repair this wind turbine? Ah, one of my wind turbines is down. Okay, yeah, so that's another thing I need to take care of. I remember, I think it was Elfwind saying that you should really have more wind turbines rather than, um, actually, that's probably not even working because it's blocked by the wall. We're going to need a new place for, for our wind turbines and stuff. Over here would be a good area, right? So let's do it. So we could start building a wind turbine farm. So I'm going to have, because we don't really have any raids up here, so it's quite a nice area to build it. Let's go here, here, oh, not that one there. Let's get three of them, and then we can de start deconstructing our solar panels as well, because we don't really need those. Uh, let's put that one there, and then they need to be connected up by a power conduit, actually, and we need, to... we should be fine, actually, I don't think we need to worry, yeah, because there's no trees or anything grow, so that should be fine just like that. All right, nice. Love the way this is blocked by a sandstone wall, but still working. Yay. <laughs> okay, Ashen Crow. So we've got all this food over here. Uh, where's that? Where are you, Crystal? Yeah, I want you hauling. Hauling and growing again. Yeah, so what's going on right here? Oh, because the batteries have run out completely. Oh, they've been exploded. Derp. God damn it, Mr. Reinstein, you are one big damn goddamn derp. Oh, it is an exotic goods trader as well. Lovely. Let's cool him up. Louise, if you will, do the honors. Synthread pants. No, they would be good to keep. Uh, Glitter World Medicine. Far too pricey for my liking. Triple rocket launcher. I hate the way these are only single use. That sucks. Anyway, there's nothing good for us there. You have failed us. Marble wall. Ah, uh, we're still using the marble as fast as Lizzie's producing it. Okay. Chloe, where are you going? What? What the hell are you doing? One build this so we get power back in here. There we go. And our crops will keep growing. So we've got plenty of food, at least for a day or two. Or, uh, I mean, meals. Uh, Crystal, you're hauling all the junk around. <laughs> What's my dog up to? He can't get settled. He's so fidgety. Uh, we don't need that door anymore. So, yeah, I kind of need to redesign this whole area. But it's a shame you can't deconstruct these things. Rather than... Uh, you shouldn't have to actually deconstruct them so you can move them. You should just be able to uninstall all of it. But alas, you cannot. Bit of a pain in the buttocks. Oh, Ashen Crow's getting food from over there. I can't restrict him to just over there, can I? Because you use that radius thing and they're kind of roughly equal distance apart. Eh, well, never mind. Okay, where's Chloe? Chloe. Let's zoom in on There she is. Hauling steel to wind turbine. Ah, you're building those. Nice. And Louise. Do, 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 construct. Yeah, I need you to help construct, I think. And now you've gone to sleep. God damn, woman. Wake up, love. Oh, this bedroom. This bedroom's going to be cold. We need a heater in there when someone decides to use it. So we better put one in there now. Hey, it's summer! But winter is coming. Your food crops won't grow in the winter cold. They will in my greenhouses. Uh, you can build a walk-in refrigerator room to prevent food from spoiling and try to buy steel or make some parkers or you'll freeze when you step outside. True that. Okay, so we've only got one mood issue right now and that is Crystal. So she's observed corpse times two. That's probably a problem. Sharing a bedroom, wearing tattered apparel. So if you're sharing a bedroom, why don't you just come and build a wall? Surely that would appease you. Wouldn't it, my dear? That's it. Good girl. And that one. Yeah, nice. Most people have got an individual bedroom now. Perhaps we could even put... Dare I say it, some plant pots in there. We're actually in a good good uh, point in our game. 
That will improve improve the beauty. Let's have one over there, one there. How much how much materials do the plant pots use? Fifteen, that's not too bad. And we have got 103. Okay. Oh. Hey! Rocky, no. Rocky's barking at someone. <laughs> He's like ruff, ruff. Uh, Ash and Crow. Let's call up that bulk goods trader. See if we can get rid of... Oh, look at that human leather price we can get for that. 554. Sweet. What about the human meat? Oh, another big wad of cash in my bank balance. Lovely jubbly. So, oh, it'd be so cool to have some animals, like an elephant. But they're 1108. That's a bit pricey. About an elk. I need one of each, really, if I'm going to get them. A Labrador would be good, so that can help um, that would be really good, wouldn't it? Because then it can help, uh, what do you call it, haul. Uh, Labrador Retriever, one year old. We should probably go for that one, shouldn't we? Female. And do you think we should get food while we're here? There's no telling how much we're going to be able to grow. So it's probably a good idea. Let's get some tomatoes. I don't know how many. Let's just drag this. Just get all of it. And some carrots maybe not too many but some all right now we have a doggy and we better make sure he has somewhere to sleep because otherwise he's gonna freeze to death so let me take care of that okay furniture animal let's make him a nice little proper sleeping box he can he can sleep in this little corner over here and we also need to work out where he's allowed to wander because he's gonna want to eat our food uh, let's see here animal area one and then let's manage Animal area one. So yeah, he's basically basically allowed anywhere, I suppose. Isn't he? Yeah, he's allowed anywhere. I don't want him to freeze. Nah, he's mm, yeah, because we can't have him indoors all the time. Uh, yeah, I'm restricted, and hopefully he's not going to freeze to death. And he, yeah, he's able to be trained. Awesome. So who's our little? Uh, Handler, Louise, 4 out of 20. Crystal, 3 out of 20, but she learns quicker. So let's get Crystal on it. Louise, you can take a sidestep on that one. Sweet. Now, I know the dog is going to eat stuff, but I think it could be a valuable long-term help in our in our game. So that's the reason I'm doing that. Um, yeah, in the, our last episode, we had a problem with this gap in our wall as well. Where the enemy just walked through, rather than uh, rather than them having to walk through and facing my turrets straight on. So let's plug that hole in the wall. And ooh, more cargo pods. What do we got here? Sandstone blocks. Lovely. Right, haulers, get to work. What's that crystal doing? Yeah, she's a hauler. Hauler and a grower. But now she's gone to bed. Lazy. Okay, Chloe, what are you up to? Hauling steel to the wind turbine. You're still building those. The tomatoes. Ash and Crow. I think we've got quite a lot of meals at the moment, Ash and Crow. If I can get you to do a little hauling. Um, yeah. Hold on. Let's just do it. Let's just do it like this. Get him to haul it without uh, changing this. So, Ash and Crow, set that back to two. Yeah, that should be fine. What are you doing, mate? Oh, can you eat the tomatoes, Roar? I don't want him to eat them. I want him to haul them. Maybe I clicked the wrong thing. Yeah, that's it. Cook. Yeah, I'll haul some more in. Ah, oh, sweet. Louise is building our second... Our second wind turbine. Chloe, while you're there, haul some of them in. Let's get it all hauled in, I think. Don't want it to be exposed to elements for too long. Get Chloe, um, Crystal to help out. Sorry about this, guys. Just does take a while. Where are you going, Ash and Crow? Not resting yet, mate. You've got to grab all this. There we go. That should be all of it, no? 
So close, but so far. All right, bulk goods trader has now left. That's fine. We did some good trading there. I'm pretty pleased with that. Ah, we're missing a wall there. Let's put that there. And crystal. Grab those carrots. There we go. All the food is now in our stockpile. Don't forget, we've actually got some dead uh, Yorkshire Terriers over there as well that we can need to grab in. And there's some uh, Labrador fur and all sorts lying around. Just really wish we could get another colonist. Like that dude, dude. Anyone who's attacking us is not actually surviving. They're all dying. Have you noticed that? <laughs> Exotic goods trader. Nice. Let's call him up. Any more trades to be done? Yeah, we can get rid of some of these cloves. Walk for a Parker. Oh, them synth thread pants. They might be worth trying to get on someone. Poopy Labrador Retriever. That's mine. It's called Poopy. <laughs> I like it. I approve. Uh, yeah, so who needs pants? Chloe. Da, 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 da. No, you're good. Ash and Crow. You're good. Muffalo wool pants. Crystal. You need new pants. You go and put them on. Okay. Why are you eating raw tomato? There's plenty of meals in there. Is that a bug? Yay! All of our, all of these are built. Awesome. So we just need to connect them up properly to our power supply. And we will be having happy days. Let's get rid of these. Broken days. Crystal. Oh no, Crystal. And we have an eclipse. But thankfully that doesn't affect my wind turbines. Ha ha. Yeah, we've got light there, light there. There's still plenty of work to do, Chloe. Come on, love. Help, help me out here. Do you think I've got too many heaters in here, people? We've got one there. Power needed 10 watts. 100 watts. 10 watts. Oh, it alters depending on what it needs to keep the temperature. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a parker there. Chloe, are you not wearing a parker? Yeah, you are. Good. Here we go. Look at that. Demolish them. Okay, let's drag that down there. And Louise is nearly doing that one. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. More cargo pods. Wow, we're being quite lucky here. What was that? Boar skin. Sweet. Alright, they're finishing off our defensive barriers. Louise hauling sandstone blocks to the wall. Aha, uh -huh, okay. These are now charging up my batteries, I assume. Let me see. Let me take a look at our power line here. So, that runs all the way along there. Connects to the batteries. So we better drag this there just in case. For when we disconnect those, which is now... And we can probably build some more wind turbines. Let me see where that one ends. So, ends there. So we can put more here, like so. Just get two more, I think. That should cover us. Um, okay, how are our bedrooms doing? They're still not completed. Come on. Some marble there. Oh no, who's that person who went berserk? Oh, it was Crystal. She got in a daze. Now you're in bed, but. You've taken off them pants I gave you. What on earth? Don't, why are you wearing buffalo wool pants rather than synth thread? That's crazy. And the t shirt. Put that back on, woman. Here we go. Hey, we got our first flower pot. <laughs> that adds to the beauty, right? It must do. Let's see here. Impressiveness. No, that's not it. Uh-oh. Crystal's broken again. Why are you so troubled, Crystal? Don't you worry about nothing, man. You can help do everything. Yeah. Now we've got 20 meals in stock. I'm going to change this so to do until you have 20. Yeah. It's already set like that. Good. So Ash and Crow can then play chess, and that will improve his joy. Excellent. 
Crystal, you could learn something off of uh, Mr. Ashen Crow. You need to come and play. Hey, how's our training doing? Good. Obedience and hauling already achieved. So, well, obedience fully and hauling only one. But, it's a start. Okay, we got all the weapons. We still have not got a combat supplier. Is there something I need to do to get a combat supplier to come and help me out? Because, you know, I'm not having much luck here. Mm -mm -mm. I think it would be a, be a good... Just thinking, it would probably be a good idea to remove this refrigerator over here. Then they don't have so far to go to get to the dining table. And... The kitchen's right there. That's a good plan. Let's do that. Oh my god. Sometimes I do have a brain. Let's do it like so. And then put Yeah, put a door there. Yeah, this is gonna work. Then we stockpile like so. What's this? Why can't we stockpile there? Ah, growing. Okay. So we might as well get rid of that. Like that. Ah, oh, it's all messed up now. Okay. Let's fix this. So, put a stockpile there. That's going to be for our food. So, clear all foods and medicine. Actually, in animal corpses and human like corpses. That should work. Then, oh, then I think all we need is a vent, right? Because the air out here is cold enough to keep it cool. Awesome! Yay. Alright, let's keep an eye on Louise now. Louise, we need you to build more blocks and construct things. Okay, good. You're doing that. Good, good, good. Ash and Crow, before you go, mate, repair this. This is getting on my nerves, this little broken thing here. Yeah, and Chloe's starting to build that already. Awesome. What's that? Cargo pods? More? Alpaca meat. Awesome. Hold on a minute. Why are none of these powered up? <gasps> we need that power line built. Uh-oh. Everybody, hands on deck. Chloe, get over here. Okay, hopefully you're going to do that. Louise and, Louise and Chloe, I'm going to get you to haul some of this alpaca meat in. Louise and Chloe, actually, and Crystal, because Crystal's awake. Get as much of that in as you can. Ash and Crow, come back here, lad. Finish up that. Finish up this. We need it powered, mate. We can't afford to let any food go to waste. Come here. That's it, lad. Don't run away. Brilliant. We're powered up again, and our turrets are powered up. Phew, I feel a bit safer now. Okay. Our defensive wall is now built. Beautiful. Actually, we don't even need this. That's pretty much a waste of wallage. So we'll deconstruct those. Is that another... No, I thought that was another uh, geothermal vent, but it's not. It's just a piece of alpaca meat. <laughs> All right, brilliant. I think that ends the episode, guys. We are still haven't completed our bedrooms, but lots of cool ideas. I, I, I'm pretty pleased with the fact that I'm moving this uh, refrigerator. I'm sure that's going to be a better area to keep our food. Especially in proximity to our table and our cooking and butchering places. Brilliant. Alright, enjoy the rest of your day guys and I will see you on the next episode tomorrow where hopefully things can improve even more. But in what shape? I haven't decided yet. Take care guys. Bye bye.